Hey. What's up? Got the whole crew here. Yeah, that's awesome. Appreciate it. <laughs> so, what do you think about the uh, first day in Las Vegas? It's uh, it's been exciting. Uh, Luckily, I had a little bit of time to uh, kind of relax before this and uh, had time to go to the pool and uh, rest a little bit, but it's been fun. Uh, so, it's so hot and uh, came, uh, came straight from uh, Finland, so it's been uh, it's a quite, a, quite a change. So, it's not quite like it was in the hangover, right? <laughs> a little different. <laughs> Cool. So far, I mean, I can't say uh, about tonight or tomorrow night. <laughs> Goaltenders don't usually battle each other. I mean, it's team versus team, but in a miss, you're up against three pretty good goaltenders. How do you match yourself against them? Um, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm proud that I'm, uh, I'm nominated. Uh, I feel like I match pretty well, but uh, obviously this is... Uh, like I, I've said before, I'm, I'm just, a, just a big fan of those both guys, and uh, I'm gonna be a, even tomorrow night. I'm gonna be just a big fan and enjoy the moment. And uh, I'm sure there's gonna be some butter, butterflies, but uh, it's gonna be a fun experience. After the Stanley Cup Finals, can you comment on the play of the two goalies in on the uh, It was great. Uh, obviously, you know, Boston ended up winning, and uh, it was. Uh, uh, large because of uh, Tim Thomas, he was unbelievable. And, uh, but the fact that I like about, like about uh, Luongo is uh, he, he seemed to always step up when uh, when needed. And uh, you know, if he had a not so great game, he always uh, stepped it up. So it was uh, it was good, uh, great goalies uh, both ways. But uh, I think the better team won eventually. Four years ago, yeah, it's uh, it's hard to uh, realize. I mean, even a couple of years, a uh, couple of seasons back, back I, I was just trying to make the team, and uh, you know, I wasn't dreaming about uh, winning a Vezina Trophy or anything like that. And, uh, it's just uh, when you work hard and uh, you play in a good team, uh, you have good coaches and uh, uh, you know you have a little bit luck. You know, good things can happen, and uh, I'm a I'm a good example. Uh, you know, I, I've been working hard and uh, just uh, getting you know, like I said, a little bit luck and uh, good coaches, uh, good teammates. Uh, that's the uh, that's that's my theory. Uh, but but it's obviously it's been a different kind of journey and uh, but I, I've been enjoying it every single minute. Technique that gave you a franchise that you're trying to manage your culture nominates yourself and your teammates shape. How close is this franchise going to looking at the end? really close. I mean uh, I, I think we already showed this year that we can play against anybody. Obviously you know we can we have to stop talking, we have to do more on the ice and we have to start winning some uh, more series, but uh, but I, I think we proved mostly for ourselves uh, that you know we are not scared to play anybody, or you know we truly believe that we can we can do it, and uh, uh, I think our future looks great. Uh, we have some great players, and our core is really strong. We have some uh, good talent coming up, and uh, I'm I'm really excited about next year. How, uh, how much did the being left on the team in 2010 How much did that motivate you, or did that give you a chance to kind of go home and get your mind straight? I'm sure I, at the time I was, I'm sure I was a little bit disappointed. Uh, I didn't want to admit that, but obviously, you know, you try to play hard, and uh, you know, you want to represent your your country in the Olympics, no question. But uh, I don't know if that. Uh, uh, you know, obviously looking back, uh, that gave me a bit of time to regroup and uh, uh, sign my deal during that break and uh, after that everything just clicked and uh, I don't know if it was that or if it was the deal or uh, maybe just a little extra break, extra little rest, but uh, it seemed to work so uh, yeah, right now it's easy to say that uh, we, we got, it was probably a little bit uh, motivating.
Can you talk about Weber as a leader in, uh, for the team? Yeah, he's our he's our leader. He's still young, but he's already uh, you know everybody looks up to him, and uh, uh, you know he's a kind of leader that goes on the ice and uh, just leads by by example. And uh, everybody knows how important player he is uh, he is for us, and uh, he's a crucial part of uh, Nashville team. And, uh, uh, not only not only. As a player, but uh, as a person too, he's a, he's a great, great guy in the locker room, and uh, uh, you know, great example for younger guys. Can you talk about how much he cares about you? He's exactly that. Uh, you know, he treats you like a family members. He, you know, he's tough, but he, he you know, if you do something well, he also rem remembers that and. Uh, so he's, uh, he, I think it's really fair. Uh, that's the bottom line. And, uh, I, I think the biggest thing is, uh, you know, he treats everybody well, and uh, so you know people like him. And uh, that's a, that's a one thing that uh, when you have uh, 23, 24 guys in, on a team, uh, it's uh, it's a pretty big, pretty big thing. What will you do differently this summer or to prepare for next year? Uh, probably nothing. Uh, probably nothing really uh, too much differently. Uh, try to prepare the same way. Obviously, try to improve uh, physically, uh, get better. Uh, you know, we still have uh, plenty of time. September 16th, I, I think, is the, when the training camp is starting. And, uh, so, uh, you know, just trying to work hard and uh, at the same time remember to take care of your body. And, uh, but uh, pretty much the same way I, I prepared for the next uh, last season. The uh, last year, y'all really took a lot out of losing Game Five in Chicago, and really had a lot more resolve to come back and uh, and do better this year. What will you take from this year's playoffs that will push you further next year? Uh, I think just the whole experience. I, I think the confidence level. You want to remember that how we how we played, and uh, we never uh, you know look back. We always. Uh, Kind of lived on the moment, and uh, that's how you have to go in, in playoffs, one game at a time. And I, I think it was a it was a great experience for all of us. Uh, we still have a young team, and uh, but we have a good mix, a little bit uh, experience and uh, younger guys. And I, I think it was a it was a good uh, learning curve for sure. Uh, last two years, uh, the year before against Chicago, and now against uh, Vancouver. Uh, you know, you, you don't want to. You really want to feel that again, uh, even though you realize that you, you played well, but uh, it's not enough. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> that's, a, that's a hard question. Uh, you have to ask somebody else. But, uh, I, uh, I'm not a much of a... I don't know. I, I, like, to, uh, I like to stay loose in, uh, in the locker room. Obviously, I say something if I feel like I have to say, but, uh, but uh, I mostly just try to take care of my own, own business. and. Uh, uh, but uh, I, try, I try to be a leader on the ice. That's that's one thing I, I try to do. How did you make the jump from good to good? It's all the little things. I mean, it's so much in your in your head. It's in uh, it's your confidence level. Uh, and you know, once you play a lot, everything starts go starts going well. Uh, you don't even notice that, but you get better. Uh, kind of surprising uh, because things are going well and you you expect more out of yourself and you expect more out of your teammates. I, I think that's how it goes. That's how you get better. A lot of people, uh, so many people. Obviously, you know, bottom line is uh, it's, your, it's your, my parents, uh, the, the biggest influence. But uh, I've, I've had some uh, great coaches in the last few years. Mitch Horn has been a big influence on me. Uh, you know, just working uh, working with him has been uh, it's been really good for me. And uh, you know, like the national style is you know having the kind of the same coaches and uh, same people around you. I think that's that's been really good for me. You know, we've uh, created uh, a good relationship with, with him and uh, you know, we have a good uh, working relationship. Is there any impression now that you want to play off for next year? I think so. I, I hope so. Uh, you know, I, 
I don't mind if it comes from the media, but uh, I really expect that from, uh, from you know from us as a team. Uh, you know, we, we we want that, we we need that, uh, and uh, but yeah, I think so. I I think going uh, going for next year, it's going to be a little bit more pressure.